Hi everybody, welcome back to Mando Lessons. In this lesson, we're going to be working on the Irish um, song melody, essentially. Uh, the Star of the County Down. Um, it's a very well-known melody. Um, and people do it in a couple different ways. Um, people will do it as a march or as a waltz um, in four or in three. Uh, this is particular. I'm going to do a lesson on both, but this is the march lesson. Um, and I'll do the waltz lesson next. Um, so this tune I'm doing in, people do it in a couple different keys I think, um, but this is a common key for it, uh, A minor. Um, I'll play it through once so you can get a sense of what it sounds like, and then I'll break it down into sections. Um, do try to get it by ear as it's great practice, but that said, if you need help there are tabs in standard notation as well as play along tracks over at the website mandolessons.com. Um, and a couple ways to donate, which helps me put out new lessons like these every week for free. Um, uh, totally um, voluntary donations. All of the stuff is freely available on my website and YouTube. So, uh, I'm going to just make sure this is in focus real quick. Seemed like it was out a little. All right. And let's get into it. I'll play it through once and then break it down. So that's the whole form, and then I would go back in. So this is sort of an, you could think of it as like A-A-B-A -A -A form, or kind of more of a song form. Um, there's a lot of repetition, but there's a little bit of, it's kind of a, I don't know if you'd call it a bridge. I'm not as familiar with song form, but there's kind of two parts that sound similar, and then a new part, and then back to the first part. So first phrase sounds like this. Starts on the second fret of the D string, and there's a couple pickup notes to the downbeat on the open A. So that open A is the downbeat. Let's do that again. Next phrase starts in the fifth fret of the D string. Same rhythm, different notes. Do that again. Let's put those two phrases together, it sounds like this. Next phrase. So it's got a couple pickup, that's as always. Let's do that again. Again. So let's put all of those parts together and it sounds like this. Two, three. The second line um, of music is very similar to the first. I'll play it and then point out the differences. So the only difference there is all the same. So it ends with the fifth fret and then 
open A string. That same little shuffle at the end. Um, so let's play both of those parts together, and you'll sort of you'll you'll pick it up if you haven't already. One, two, three. So that's the first two. The third one is the different phrase. Um, so it starts with again pick up notes. And that third fret on the G on the E string is your downbeat. So three on the A, open E, third fret on the E string is your downbeat. First phrase sounds like this. Let's do that again. And again. Next phrase. Let's do that again. Put those two phrases together, sounds like this. Let's do that again. Here we go. Next phrase. So those pickups. Let's do that again. And again. So let's put that whole third line together. Sounds like this. Two, three. And then our last, um, last line of music uh, starts, is very similar to the first two. Uh, but it just has a couple of different notes. It starts with a pickup going down, so rather than it's gonna go three, two, oh, and it sounds like this. So it just ends with a whole bunch of um, open A strings. So with, I'll do that again with you walk down the pickup notes. This is all the same. Oh, oh, oh. And that's the end of the tune. So that is the whole thing. Um, I'll play through it uh, now for you and play along with me. And um, the the more you the more you play through it, the you know, you've got those little endings that are a little different every time. And people may do them differently from what I'm teaching here. Um, but this is the way that I know it. Uh, let's play through it and see what we come up with. One, two, three. Let's 
do that one more time. Here we go. there you have it that's the whole tune again if you need help with any of that um, by all means go back uh, rewind a little bit slow it down speed it up whatever you need to do also there are tabs in standard notation over at mandolessons.com as well as a bunch of other lessons if you're enjoying yourself doing this go find another one and pick it out so I'll play it through one more time here uh, I'll pick up the tempo a little bit maybe add in some double stops and ornamentation which I also have lessons on over at Mando Lessons, uh, how to add double stops and play and uh, ornaments into your playing in the technique and fundamental section of the site. Um, but here we go. Uh, one, two, three, four. There you go. Thanks again for watching and hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.